Hey yo, it's your homeboy Funky Luffy Hubs, the commentator, and he is on day six of quarantine. Uh, these two weeks can't go past enough. I'm bored out of my god. I want to see my friends. I want to go out. And guys, you'll not believe what happened yesterday. Okay, for those who have subscribed to my channel and actually live here where I'm at, um, here in America, uh, yesterday was pretty freaking horrible. It was terrible. Okay, so, I'm out of my own business, and then I was sleeping, and next thing I know, my whole wall started shaking, and next thing I know, the ground starts shaking too. I, we had a Goddamn earthquake at 7 in the morning. I was as hell. And then there were aftershocks and everything. And, oh, God. Yesterday was such a nightmare. That's why I didn't do a read-through. Because my adrenaline was like, Ugh. And everyone was like all wigged out and everything. My God. Earthquake, guys. Not funny. Not a funny business. Ah. <sighs> Oh, that's one day in the history of books with my family that we'll never forget. <laughs> though there was also another history book with with my family, though. But that was when I was still in the womb, and I just barely heard about this. But um, my mother was in a tornado when I was still a bait in the womb. Yeah. So another one. So another history book for this family. Ugh. Another history chapter. Ugh. Anyway. I thought I'd go ahead and do some read-throughs, you know, since in a few weeks, I'm going to be leaving for Florida. Hopefully, I don't know, I got informed, I got informed that all the Disney parks from Florida to, from where I can drive to, and, um, all, uh, are, uh, closed due because the coronavirus, Blah. Hopefully we get to still go. Hopefully, I mean, we're, all our passes are already here. We already got the plane tickets. We already got the tickets for Universal Park and Harry Potter World and the yada yada yada. You know, all that who do. Anyway, we are on. We are going to continue our read through of Splatoon 2 Human Terrestrial by Tribite. Thank you again, man. Shout out to you. You want to check out his other. Well, I don't know if he has other work. I don't know. If you want to go check him out and go ahead and just read and not listen to my voice, bleh. <laughs> uh, I'll be leaving a link to the website to this down below. Also to my WhatsApp thing. That's right, I'm reading this off of WhatsApp. And my WhatsApp, if you got any references, you got any opinions about my fic that I've written, go ahead. I might add the, some stuff into that. I'm um, still working on Chapter 2. Uh, since I got all this damn time now, I can, like, work on it. Um, considering I don't get too busy, then again, I'm stuck in my own goddamn house, so. Language! Sorry! My bad! Mm-mm! <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, quarantine. Turn me back shit crazy! <sighs> I can't wait till this is over. Anyway, enough about that complaint complaining. Let's get back to the read through of part four. No holding back of Splatoon 2 Human Terrestrial. Let's go, boys and girls. Okie dokie. Let's see. Okay. Part 14, no holding back. And pa 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 uh -oh. Cray and Kate snuggled in their sleeping bags or bed and went prepared and were prepared to sleep. Kate try by just between you and me. Are these two gonna fall in love? Just let me know. Please, 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 please. Let me know, okay? Just give me a little cool indication or clue if these or if these two are gonna fall for love with each other. Give me a little bit of a clue. I am like curious. Okay, okay. So I know all your viewers like, dude, why are you asking this now? Don't wait till no. But I know it's just I just want a little hint, cause deep down in my heart, 
they will love each other. Okay, so I'm a little bit of a sucker for the romance parts of some fix that I enjoy, okay? Don't y'all judge me. Y'all listen to my voice, and for crying out loud, most of you are bronies. So don't judge me! <laughs> okay? <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> sometimes I don't know how I do it, but I make myself laugh sometimes, too. <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, maybe on uh, my next time, if you guys want, I can, like, fin- no, actually, I need to check where I left off on that fic. Uh, the Steven Universe fanfic, Chinoy Jump Boy. Shout out to him, by the way. Check out his previous read. Check out my previous read through of some of his work as well. There, of My Little Pony Human. My Little Pony Human Friendship is Magic. I must have forgotten my own title. Oof. That was his first fanfiction I've read from him, and I'm reading another one of his. Uh. <gasps> Steven Universe, so yeah. I'm sorry, got an got a notification about something. I don't know what. Uh, what up notification? Anyway, um, where was I? So yeah, go ahead and check that out in a bit if you want, or skip this video and just go straight to my first fanfic reading. It's uh. <laughs> Not my best work, to be honest. And again, I'm working with what I got here. Like, I'm literally holding a business card from guys that... No, I'm not being sponsored by them. They're their own little company. God knows where they're at. And make their own pretty cool stuff. Anyway. And their own back here. Anyway. Back to the... Re enough of my rant. Back to the read through. Um... But seriously, Trey Bites, do they fall in love with each other and later in the fic? I need to know. Also, if you guys also want to have any recommendations of what app or any other fix you want me to read, go ahead and send in a link to go ahead and have some suggested ideas and go ahead and send them to me on my YouTube channel or leave a comment as anything you want, alright? Anyway, back to the read through! Wahoo! That is until Cray. That is, uh, Cray and Kish now go in their sleeping bag or bed and were prepared to sleep. That is until Cray broke the silence. Kate? Cray said shyly. Yes, Cray? <clears throat> Kate replied. What is it? I feel bad for what happened today, Cray sighed. Of not helping you quick enough and not taking this whole thing seriously. I know this thing means a whole lot to you, and I'm just making a joke of it. Kate tried to answer, but couldn't think of the words. Cray took his kettle head piece off and placed it on one side. It's just, with being awake for a couple of days after a thousand or twelve thousand years, I just don't feel like myself lately, and now being the only human alive, Cray sighed again, it's a lot to sink in. I've missed a lot back home. Cray? Kay replied sympathetically. So... That's why I want to try my best and hardest tomorrow for the Splat Tournament. No holding back. Cray became filled with courage. You can push me as much as you like, so I'm as good as ever. And I promise we'll win the Splat Tournament. A moment passed. Thanks, Cray. Kate replied for making it up to us. That's the best I can do for my friends, Cray said. They both, the both of them rested their heads upon their cushions to sleep. About eight hours later, Cray, Cray, uh, not now. I'm sleeping. Sleep. 
Something is there. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Is this like a dream? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I'm not entirely sure this voice, voice is a boy or a girl, so... That's going to that's gonna get comprehended. This is going to get comprehended. Ooh. This is going to get complicated. My bad. Using the wrong words. Anyway. Uh, something is still coming at... Coming. You must act fast. Something terrible is still coming. You must act fast. Yeah, yeah. I am going to take care of be Bestie. And I'll help win the tournament. No biggie. Cray, you need to be serious about this. Uh, yeah, I promise, Kate. It's all under control, okay? But Cray... Uh, if this is going to happen all the time, then I might as well wake up. Well, maybe just a couple of hours longer. As Craig continued to snort lightly on his pillow, Kate, on the other hand, was awake, and the digital clock was beeping 8 a.m. Well, today is 8 a.m. with a sleeping human on a nice sunny day, Kate said to herself, assuming Craig couldn't hear her. With, with clear skies at a nice 20 degrees... Perfect just to have a day to relax in our beds and simply a moment pass of Cray snoring lightly in return. Wake up, Cray! Kate shouted, and she suddenly brought out an air horn st straight in Cray's ear. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where did she get that? <laughs> okay, I can get a good sleep in now and then, but come on, the air horn's a little excessive, don't you think, guys? Oh, I smudged my glasses. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I can't see squat with my glasses right now. They they a wee bit dirty. Uh, just, uh, give me a sec. Okay, mucho better. I can see again. <laughs> Cray screamed and jumped high, high in the air, out. I in the air out of his sleeping bag, his body shaking like he was being stunned or electrocuted, and as he landed back on the floor, he looked around to see Kate. G Kate! What on earth? Cray shouted back with his eyes wide open and heart racing. It's time to train. Get up and at it, Kate said in return like a soldier. But I didn't order a wake-up call, Kate, Cray replied while still being stunned. Let's talk, Cray. More pain. Get ready in five minutes, Kate replied bossily. Somebody's in the mood. Hmm. Ooh. Ah, oh, man. I saw another fanfic er earlier, and eh, whatever. Eh. Uh, bustly. Kate began walking out of the bedroom, leaving Craig to take a breather and suddenly pass out from shock. <laughs> <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> anyway, after five minutes, Craig entered the living room with a fresh attire, only to see Kate suddenly dressed like an athlete coach with red shirt cap and a silver whistle. Uh-oh. It's Coach Moran. Coach Moran, where have I heard that? Where did I hear that name before? I feel like I've heard that somewhere. I forgot. Troll hunters, I think. Uh, I might be wrong, though. Oh, well. You ready to train, maggot? Kate replied. Cray was put a bit on the spot and was already start startled to begin with. I, uh, guess? But I... Cray continued to stutter. Enough talk, Kate interrupted suddenly. Let's begin. Oh, um... Um... 
He... Cray replied shyly. Should we go to the arena then? Ha ha, Cray. We're not training for that yet, said Kate. We're going to test your core ability. See what you humans can do. Starting with exercise. Cray's eyes widen and jaw drop. No! What have I done? Yeah, boy, what you done? Cray whispered to himself before gulping. Uh. Just a moment later, Cray was lying on the floor, lifting himself up with his arms while Kate was in front of him with a whistle in her mouth. Come on, Cray, do a push-up! Kate shouted. Cray's mat mastic arms were breaking already to keep him up. It's much harder, Cray paused to breathe, to, li to lift yourself. When you have when you have bones, Cray dipped down and tried to push himself back up again, but he collapsed onto the floor. Do you call yourself a team player? Kate shouted. Do some sit-ups. Ooh, abdominables. I know the feel pain, dude. I know the pain. Oh god, sit-ups are a pain in the butt. They hurt so much. Another moment later, Kate was now on Cray's feet so he could try and lift himself up. Sadly, though, he couldn't, could only go up halfway. I slept 12,000 years for this! Oh, wait, it was Kate. Oh, you slept 12,000 years for this? For this? Kate shouted again. I don't even know what happened before then, Cray replied. Come on, at least do a full one, Kate said. Cray tried so hard, but failed miserably. I... I can't, Cray replied pathetically. Seems seems you're not good with your stamina, Kate said, and and I've got a good thing to help with that. Craig gulped. <clears throat> Just another moment later. Alright, Craig, time to go down the stairs, Kate said. Sure, this will be easy, Craig replied. Eh, it's true, going downhill is a lot easier. Craig replied confidently, despite his past exercise. Oh, and also go back up, Kate replied. Then we shall see if you you improve. Cray zoomed down the stairs of the apartment building until he was not seen. It was five minutes later and Cray was nowhere to be seen as if he just ran off. Now where did that human get off to? Kate asked herself. She then noticed a nearly dead human on the stairs, very exhausted. As he used his arms to climb up them. So many stairs. Cray was drained of breath. Oof. Get back up, maggot. We're we got a tournament to win, Kate shouted and blew her whistle. Why are you so mean today? Cray became upset. You can't train well unless I toughen you up, Kate replied. Now do it again. When can we eat? I'm starving, Cray asked, considering he didn't have breakfast. You can when I've trained you, Kate replied. Oh, Cray shouted. After a couple of more rounds of running up 50 flights of stairs twice. 50 flights, my god, I cannot see myself doing that at all. Uh, talk about exercise of leg day. Then again, I go up a few flights of stairs every day when I go to work, so... Hoorah! I never skip out on leg day, but... Uh. After a couple more rounds of running, Gray was pulling him 
itself through the door. Need to rest! Craig gasped as he pulled himself back into the apartment. Human cannot take much more of this! Craig flopped on the floor in his last breath. Kate thought he passed out. I think I broke the human, Kate said at, to herself before talking to Cray. Are you okay there, Cray? Suddenly, Cray began to snore. <coughs> Cray? Kate asked again. Uh, what? Uh huh? What? Cray replied as he lifted his face from the floor. Y yeah, other than me lying on the floor, dead. And yes, I'm fine. God, what? Where's the anchor arms when you need them? Am I pushing you too hard? Kate asked. You are a bit, Cray replied, although it was better if he exaggerated. But I said for you to, so obviously, my bad. God, my arms hurt! Do you want a squid soda? Kay asked another time. It's alright. I'll get it, Cray said. Cray then pushed his body from the ground, but almost fell back down to the floor again, but managed to push himself up once more. Kay suddenly started in amazement. Did you just do a push-up? Kate said curiously. I'll bet a pathetic one. I'll bet a pathetic one. Pathetic one as his arms were tight, dying. Holy crap, I did! Kate felt very achieved and continued doing a few more. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Yeah, we're making progress, Kate shouted with joy as she took the whistle out of her mouth. Can I stop now? Craig gave the puppy eyes. No, Kate answered bluntly. Oof! Denied! Craig awed before flopping back on the floor. Craig began to rapidly improve with everything he did. Setups, pull-ups, running up and down 50 level of stairs oh, <laughs> going to constantly myself doing this workout no way in hell you name it he wasn't even breaking a sweat exercise became more intense from stairs to around the entire block with cray jogging in pain o pink overalls to lifting weights of, of two marshmallows mm -hmm. Pink overalls and two marsh. He's lifting only two marshmallows? Huh? Boy, this guy needs some beef on his arms. I mean, I got no right to talk. My arms are kind of a little skinny, too. I got orangutan arms. But tiny, but they're somewhat okay strong and grip wise, I guess. But, you know, nah. We humans have our limitations, you know. Blah. Anyway. But why the pink... But what's with the pink overalls? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got like something in my schnoz. BRB. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Apparently, I gave myself a bloody nose real fast. My bad. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, oops. Stretch attack. Oh, where was I? Ah, yes. Exit came more intense from stairs to around the entire blah, 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 blah. Oh, alright, alright. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Until finally, they had enough. Kate and Cray were about to walk up the stairs from going around the block to train. Cray 
created like a boxer. Phew! Wasn't that a wasn't that a montage? Kate said. You did great out there. I guess. Cray was out of breath now and was in no rush for continuing on. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Cray then slowed slow down and sat the first step. You okay? Yeah, Cray continued to be exhausted. You carry on, I'll catch up. Cray, Kate then... Okay then, suit yourself, Kate replied. Kate then continued to walk up the stairs. Craig turned his head to face the elevator, tempted to go up that instead, but he was persisted on being, um, and began to climb the flight of stairs. Mm. After about ten minutes, Craig got up all the flights of stairs and entered the apartment. This better be an easy tournament, Cray whispered to himself. He took, he looked in front of him to see Kate making something. There you are, Cray. You sure took your time. Kate was surprised by Cray's appearance. I just realized we didn't, we didn't have breakfast, so I decided to make. Kate was interrupted by Cray staring in a trance at what she was preparing. Kate was uh, staring at in trance what at what she was preparing. Um, Cray, you okay? Kate replied worryingly. Cray's eyes were wide open to. To stare at something dripping with golden maple syrup and butter stacked high on two plates. Pancakes! Cray shouted. <laughs> Ooh, forgive me, guys. I'm drooling now. Pancakes so good. Anyway. Cray zoomed to a chair and hopped, hopped backwards onto it, ready to eat. He grabbed the knife and fork and started gorging on the syrup stacks of the sugary stacks of syrup. Sorry, I got those words mixed up. Kate could only stare at Cray at Cray ate them rapidly. Oh God, they're so good. Gray said as he continued to eat more. So, um, what do you think about my syrup pancakes? Kay asked, although no answer was needed. Worth it, Gray smiled. <laughs> Kate smiled back. Back. It was now time to relax for a while, to be continued. Um, I think I'm going to read another one, because that one was a little short. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so, guess what, y'all? You're getting a two-parter. <laughs> Part 15, time to relax. Mmm, lazy time. As Kate began to eat the pancakes she she cooked for herself, Cray stood ideal just looking around. What are you why are you just standing around like that? Around like that, but Kate asked, noticing Cray struggling to do something. I don't know what to do now, Cray replied with a shrug. The tournament doesn't the tournament doesn't start in another few days. We should do another training session again, Kate said. But for now, why don't you just read a book or something? Cray obeyed Kate's suggestion. Thou shalt, I human, thou shalt obey Inkling Master. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I had to say it when I read that part. I had to. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I sometimes crack myself up sometimes. Anyway. Any suggestion? I wandered to a bookcase, eyeing each one simultaneously. He found one of his of his inkling and pulled and pulled it out, sat down on the sofa and opened it. Cray was surprised to see the book covered in symbols that he never saw before. They were on every page and e even turning to the cover didn't help either at as that was also made of symbols. Uh oh I can't read. As Kate finished her feast of pancakes, she could spot Crane making a confused face, trying to translate what could only be gibberish. <laughs> Kate approached Cray in a happy manner. You okay, Cray? Kay asked. Cray sh struggled to read and was too busy trying. Cray? Kate waved her hand in front of Cray to get his attention. Cray jumped a bit and looked at Kate. What's she reading? Kate asked another time. Oh, um, I'm reading. Uh, ugh. Cray struggled to answer and then confessed. Oh, it's useless. I can't read squid. All I see is symbols. That's me when I, when I uh, look at Chinese. Ugh. <laughs> That's me when I look at Chinese or Russian or Hebrew or any other language other than English. <laughs> to be honest, everything looks like, Ugh, what language, what foreign manner is this? <laughs> and sometimes I struggle enough with just reading English sometimes, you know what I'm saying, yo? Forgive me. <laughs> Ugh. Now Irish. That's a different. That's an entire new. That's an entire two ball game. A new ball game. Sure, they may speak English, but Irish have their own language, surprisingly. And that's a whole nother ball game. Plus, it makes it harder to understand them with them access. I'm not being racist. I'm just pointing out something that's a little hard for most people who's trying to do languages and stuff. Sorry, I need to take it to ship the ship the ship stuff. Ah, anyway. Kate looked at the symbols on the cover and could tell what it was immediately. The book's called Soul of the Deep. Kate explained. How am I supposed to know that? Asked Cray. Asked. The symbols are from Inkling language. Kate replied. Of course you wouldn't. Well, um, what's it about then? Cray asked. <laughs> it's just about the life of an octoling when they were banished underground, and one wanted to go back to the surface. Kate explained. Reminds me of a game I played, Cray asked. Remind me of a game, uh, but Cray said. Really? Kay asked in confusion. Do you want to have a bad time? Cray asked. Um, no. Kay was a really confused to answer. Just kidding. That's a that's a game reference, Cray explained. I don't think she'll get your reference. Uh wait, who is he talking to? I know. Wait, is that his inner demon thing? What's going on with that part? I don't get it. A moment passed. Um, Kate? Cray said. Yes, Cray? Kate replied. About this inkling and octoling language, Cray said. Could you maybe teach me? What? A few words? 
chaos because I took inkling and the more than a thousand years to learn human language, so it would probably take you a double that. Please, Kate. Cray gave the puppy puppy eyes. Bruh, you need to stop doing that. I just want to know more of your culture. Okay, sure. Kit replied. Jeez, though, what is it with you and those eyes? That's what I said! <laughs> Two great minds, think alike. Woo! Oh, forbidden love. Mm. An agent, a female agent eight, and an agent three, or is it an agent four? I don't know. Mm. Mm -mm. Maybe later. It's a special ability of mine. Cray smiled with ar arrogance. Arrogance. Okay, so which one do you want to learn? Kay asked. Physics, please. Cray answered as if it was the obvious. Like... Kay asked. I don't know. High or something? Said Cray. What do you start or... What do you start off with when you were a baby? Uh, hold on. Okay, checked. It's a little bit longer, but whatever. You're getting two apart. It was mostly instinct, Kate replied. I'm quite surprised that you seem to be interested in our culture quite desperately. I'm the last human alive, said Cray sighed. If I can't socialize with my own kind, I better get used to this one. Fair point. I mean, think about it. You're the last human, and you don't know how to read their language. Whole new god, whole new freaking concept of language, and you only know one thing: English. So, oof. Kate looked at Cray in sympathy. Uh, oh, God. Uno momento. Okay. Sorry. Need your cola. Anyway. Oh. Oh, that went down wrong. Ugh. Anyway, where was I? Uh, oh yeah. I feel very bad for you to have your... Your life horrifically changed, Kate replied, but you're doing great in this one. You should in you should enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, Cray sighed. While it lasts. Yeah. A moment past strikes again. <laughs> a moment past strikes again. <laughs> really try by a moment passes of passing strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I gotta get hand to ya. You know how to make me laugh on some stuff. <laughs> but that's enough of that. Kate broke the silence. Let me teach you the basics. After about an hour of language lessons, Cray began to gain a little more confidence in speaking inkling. Uh, oops, sorry, I read ahead. Bleh, sorry. <laughs> okay, Cray. S Kate said as she put a language book down beside her and turning back to Cray. Can you say hi to me? Hi, Cray replied. No, silly, an inkling. Kate giggled back. Oh, right. Oops, sorry. Cray said in embarrassment. Okay, here we go. After Cray took a deep breath and said a word. Just one. But... 
that word felt like a thousand when Cray finally said hi in inkling. Ugh. Yeah, don't even expect me to try to do an inkling sound. Don't even. Don't even. Without an auto tune I can add to these videos, don't even think I can say hi in inkling. Nuh uh. Not happening, boy. Oh my god! Kate was surprised but proud. You, you actually did it! Yes! Cray fist pumped. Now, how about you say a small sentence to me, Kate said. I can't... It can't be anything. Okay, um... Cray thought of what to say next. Cray then spoke an inkling. Kate's reaction was rather confused. Was rather confused. What were you trying to say? Kay asked. I said you have beautiful eyes. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm burning in love. Good, I'm calling it out. I'm calling it out, though. I am calling it out. Bruh, just give me a tidbit. Are you going to make them fall in love with each other and be boy, inkling girlfriend and human boyfriend? You must give me a spoil. You must uh, not a spoil. I mean, just give me a clue. Give me a little tidbit. Give me a little tidbit of what chapter did you put them together in? Oh, uh, I can't wait. <clears throat> Sorry, my inner romance side is kicking in. Anyway, imply I did right. Although what Cray actually said was. I brush my teeth with peanut butter and lint. Yeah. Imagine someone actually doing that. <laughs> However, she blushed whoop, to his compliment. <laughs> okay, seems you can't do sentences yet, Kate said. Darn. I might as well learn French faster than this, Cray said to himself in disappointment. Dude, French is also hard. That's another one. Also, Japanese, uh, Spanish. Uh, what other languages is there? Uh, Russian, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Indonesian, Russian. Oh wait, I already said Russian. The Italian! Oh god, the list can go on for most times, but I think French might be another com very much a complicated talk language to learn. <laughs> uh, and Cray said to himself in disappointment. <clears throat> French? Kate said. Yeah, French. That's another one of my kind of languages, Crate replied. Haven't you heard of them before? Not really, Kate replied. When we first came on land, human sources were just English. Just English? Cray sh Just English? Cray shouted in shock. There are tons of languages. There's Spanish, German, Russian, Japanese, Chinese, Swedish, Mexican, Indian. Well, I think we should stop at languages and do something else. Oh, that's another one. German is also, I heard, is complicated. Oomph difficult. I can only pick a few things that I've read or seen on YouTube or on TV shows. <laughs> But Craig continued to ramble on. Dutch, Scottish, Irish, Welsh, Canadian. A beautiful place. You would like it. There's also Klingon. Wait, that's not a real one. Craig continued to talk. <laughs> Craig inter... Craig? Kate interrupted. Yeah, Craig replied. Do you want to play chess? Kate asked. Sure, Craig answered joyfully. But there's one problem. 
I didn't know how to play. Oh, it's easy, Cat replied. I can show you. Really? Cray, Cray yelled excitedly. Thanks, that'll be good. Okay, fun fact about me. I love chess. I don't play as much as I like to. Um, I'm a little rusty, but I still know how to play the basics and everything. I love chess. I'm trying to get a Legend of Zelda chess set. Of, so, yeah, a Legend of Zelda chess set. I'm dying to get a chess set like that. It looks so cool. You got Ganondorf and the two uh, weird sorcerer sisters on him. And you got Zelda, Link, all that stuff. One side's painted black and blue. The other one's painted gold. Oh, man. It is so cool. So cool. I'm dying to get a chess set like that. I'm like, I feel like I should start a collection of chess, chess boards. <laughs> Actually, I actually know where I can get one, but a little uh, uh, pricey on the price range. But, same with the Zelda one. Anyway, very cool stuff. Anyway. A moment later, and both of them were at the table with a chessboard in between. It was Cray's turn, using his black octoling piece against Kay's white inkling ones. Oh, I wonder if there's actually is a Splatoon chess set. Dude, if any of you know where I can find something like that, or if it even exists, send me a link. I gotta check that out. Uh, white inkling ones. Gray stared at the board, unsure what to do. Come on, Cray, move a piece already. I, I can't. What? You can move that first looking piece at to take out one of her inklings. It feels wrong. Am I using the right piece? You're right. You're right, Cray. Kay interrupted. Cray's thoughts as soon and soon after after got his attention. Me? Oh, yes. I'm yes, I'm all right. Cray answered. Are you sure you've been staring at that First piece for five minutes, Kate replied. I just don't know which one to do, Craig confessed. It's not that hard, Kate said. Those octolings with the sloshers can only move in one L shape, and your main guy can move in one direction. But does he do anything special? Cray asked in confusion. Mine basically looks like a kraken in a helmet and a killer robot, and yours looks gigant generic. Oh, generic. My bad. See? I still have a hard time with English still! And I've lived here for 20 years! <laughs> Nope, there are just regular pieces, Kate explained. Mine are just the same as yours. They don't <laughs> represent anything major. If the pieces do the same thing and don't represent something major, then why are they the octolings in a black separate team, Kate asked in confusion. Again, and pointed back to his main piece, and who on earth is the my main guy? I honestly don't know, Kate replied bluntly, taking talking to herself the same question. I never stopped the question to question that. I feel like there's a question it. I feel like there's a bit there. Sorry, oh, me a little picky about it. Urgh! My pickiness has awakened again. Kate responded with no hesitation and moved on one of her feet. with no hesitation and moved one of her hers oh wait I'm, I skipped the line Gray shrugged it off and moved one of the pieces at random Kate responded with no hesitation and moved one of her piece one of hers checkmate booyah Kate shouted with a fist pump 
the chess champion strikes again. I told you you shouldn't have moved that the first. Cray didn't bother to reply to his conscience. Oh, Cray shouted. To be fair, it was your first game, Kate replied, and I already sort of checkmated you no matter what. Yeah, but I could have it. Could have at least done better, Kate replied. Want to watch a movie? Kate asked. Sure, Kate said excitedly. I need something to clear my head after struggling with, with things. I like to sit down while I find one, Kate said. She wondered. She wandered to a shelf of. She wandered to a shelf of DVDs. Bleh! English. Ugh. You think after twenty years living in America, you think I would have been better at it? <laughs> okay. Flit, flicking through the menu to and playing it. Oh wait, I, I skipped a whole bunch. Bleh. Uh, she wandered to a shelf of DVDs and took one out that fit her fancy. It seemed to be a sea life documentary. 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 Ugh. Ugh. Get. Ugh. English. Ugh. Kate booted it up and sat on the sofa with Cray, flickering through the menu and playing it. As the documentary started, Cray was surprised to hear that it was actually speaking English. Then it hit him. I just realized something, and it, this has slipped my mind. If you guys have your own languages, Cray said, then why did you guys want to learn learn an already, already English? Well, we already had languages to start with, but back then it wasn't words, said Kate. I guess you could, your kind sort of influenced that. Hmm. Inner thought moment. Hmm. I wonder if everything for sea life is just human influence. Everything seems to, to just be human life, but with more fish. Not very unique. The world is familiar, too familiar. Hmm, I wonder about that, too. Nevertheless, they continued to watch the documentary, which ended up being two hours long and based more on unhumanoid sea creatures before becoming this. The documentary then ended. So, did you like it? Kate asked. It was great, Cray replied keenly. You know, you being with me is helping me with speaking English, Kate confessed. Huh? Really? Cray was surprised. You sound fluent to me. You sound like you didn't speak of didn't speak of it much before I woke up here. Most of us didn't, Kate answered. Mm. But what's the point? I know it's to welcome me, but why would you bother with my kind if they're if they're already dead? Cray asked and continued to judge his existence. Existence, Blech. it just makes no sense. It's good to at least learn some things, even even if they don't come from your time. Kate said, and although we are different animals in almost the... Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I knew that was coming. Oh. Oy vey. Um, your time, Kate said, and although... Although we we are different animals in almost every way, we're related to you, and it's nice that you've become one of us, a good citizen and friend to Inkopolis. 
Perhaps we are not as different as we thought, Cray wondered. A moment pass. <laughs> well, now that we have nothing to do, I'm going to call it a night. Oh, wait, this is Cray. Whoops. Uh, let's retry that. Well, now that we have nothing to do, I'm going to call it a night, Cray said. Me too, Kate yawned. Uh, but with friendship on our side, I know we can beat Bestie and win the Sput Tournament, Cray said. I promise not to let you down. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. Ugh. I got a whiff of something I ate. Ugh, my bad. I know it grows, but ugh, that was bad. That's good to hear, and I like your energy. But bear in mind, we have one more training session to do, Kit replied. Good night, though. Good night, Cray replied. Then they brushed their teeth and went to bed. To be continued. Well, I'm going to call this off. Thank you all so much for listening. If you want to stick around and hear some more, please share with your other friends. And also, click down that subscription button down below. That button down there. To, to see what else I can do and get notified of what I've done. And check out the, uh, my other read-through videos. Also, uh, stay strong, guys. I really hope this corona thing blows off real soon. I really hope so. Because uh, if I don't, I'm going to get a bad case of cabin fever. Real bad. Really bad. I know that's the only seafair thing, but... Uh, we humans still got hard limitations, too, you know? Anyway, thank you all so much for listening. Please continue. Share, like, subscribe. Um, that's it for now. Thank you all so much for listening. This is your homeboy, Funky Luffy Hibs, the commentator, signing out. A peace.